All right, you guys, we're going to be doing a Zomi inspired 10 minute Pilates workout. I hope you guys enjoy. I also came out with a new two weeks K pop girl group challenge, so head on over to my fitness Instagram highlights to get the full program, or I'll leave two pop ups right here for you guys to screenshot. Let's do this. Whenever I feel lightheaded after working out, I like eating a Built Bar to give me that boost of energy. So thank you Built Bar for partnering with me on this video. They come in various different flavors and they all taste really good. Each bar has around 17 to 19 grams of protein and ranges from 130 to 180 calories. Quick tip, I love microwaving these for about 15 seconds. I do have a discount code for you guys, Michelle Choi 10 will give you 10% off your order. But let's just jump right into the workout. We are starting off with warrior 3 pose. Bring your hands and feet together, fold your torso over as you reach your right leg back, point your toes, and try to bring your torso and your leg into a straight line. Up next is crescent lunge. Start in a runner's lunge, press your torso upward, straighten the back of your leg, and start to stretch your arms up towards the sky. Bring your palms together and bring your gaze up. Coming up is warrior three pose on the left. Next is crescent lunge on the left. Up next is single leg downward facing dog crunch on the right. Start in a downward facing dog position. Lift your right leg up and into a high plank. Curl forward and try to bring your knees towards your nose and then back to three legged downward facing dog. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Coming up is Pigeon Pose. From Downward Dog, bring your right knee behind your right wrist, walk your other leg back, press the tops of your feet into the mat, and bring your right knee outside of your hip. Next is quad stretch. Place your foot gently against your arm and bring your other arm back and link your hands together. Coming up is single leg downward facing dog crunch on the left. Up 
Next is Pigeon Pose on the left. Next is quad stretch on the left. How can I believe when everything is in the right? Oh, you said things could only get better. I need it more than ever. They don't, don't, don't. Coming up is Cobra Pose. Start in a downward facing dog position. On an inhale, get into a high plank. On an exhale, slowly lower down onto the floor. Roll your shoulders back, press down on your hands and bring your chest up. Keep your neck long and open up the chest. Next, we have bow pose. Reach back and grab the tops of your feet. As you inhale, lift, and when you exhale, kick into your feet and bring your gaze forward. Next, we have swimming. Extend your arms and legs forward and raise them up and alternate lifting each side. Next is revolved head to knee pose on the right. Extend your right leg and keep your left leg bent. Bring your right arm towards your inner right leg and grab hold of the inner part of your foot. Stretch your left arm over and hold the edge of your right foot. Cheers to all the haters cause you proved to me that rising to the top was my destiny. Coming up is revolved head to knee pose on the left. I'm still fly, I know. Next, a side kick on the right. Bring your right leg up to hip level. Slowly bring your leg forward and make sure your leg doesn't rise above the height of your hips. We're going to be adding two small kicks before bringing your leg back to its starting position. Next up is side kick on the left.
is the 100, bring your arms and head off the mat, extend your legs up to 45 degrees in Pilates stance, start pumping your arms up and down, inhale for 5 counts and then exhale for 5 counts, focus on your breathing and keep your core engaged. Next is one-legged wheel pose. Make sure your heels are below your knees. Take your hands back next to your ears, shoulder distance apart, and make sure your fingertips are pointed in the direction of your shoulders. Align your elbows to your wrist, press straight up onto your head first, then lift your hips and extend your arms. Bring one leg up and point it straight towards the sky. And lastly, we're finishing strong with one-legged wheel pose on the left. And we're done! I hope you guys enjoyed this whole me inspired Pilates workout. Don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss a workout with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!